Hi, hope you are doing great. I am Sultan Mamut. Today I am going to show you iOS version of Stack Food. So I am opening the Stack Food apps. This is Stack Food user app. So basically you will get some splash skin fast. But this is my second time opening this app. That's why I am not able to see the splash screen. So in here you can find two options. One is sign up, another is sign in. And if you already have a account, then you can easily forward password. Okay. So if we click on the sign up button, then this is the registration page here you can put your name last name email then phone number then password and confirm password then click sign up it will sign of you and uh, already i have an account so i am going to click in sign in i am putting my phone number and password i click remember me and sign in button this will take me to my home skin but before that it will ask you to select a address so we already i i already added a address few minutes ago that's my home address so either i can select that saved address or i can click use my current location or set from map so i am clicking use current location so based on my current location my nearest popular food campaign all restaurant are displaying here so currently in our demo version only one zone exists that's see that is the whole world but in your project you can create multiple zones for your business and you can add different restaurant in different zone so right now i am in the world zone here you can see lots of stuff okay so first i can change my location from top of the location icon if i click here i can set another location delivery address right now i am in bangladesh but i can change my location to india pick the location as this zone is the puro it's this zone in the world wide so it says the peak location but if the location something beyond the zone like if you go here it will say service not available in this area so this is a karasi now i am going to put my location in india and peak location so now uh, i can search any food from here and uh, some suggestion it's giving me i can browse through any banner like if i click this banner then this is a banner of a restaurant the apps take me to the restaurants if i click another banner it's another restaurant if i click another banner it's another restaurant okay so now 
if i click the view all button <coughs> sorry if i click the view all button of categories then i can see all the categories i can click on burger so i will show only burger and lots of subcategories too now if i click on a cheeseburger from the top it will show me the food details i can choose any attribute and the important part is i can go this specific restaurant cheeseburger from bottom left beside add to cart button if i click there this will pick me to the cheeseburger main page restaurant page okay right now i am not going to add a new car new food in my cart i will explore the home page first <coughs> sorry my bad <coughs> okay so now uh I can explore food campaign here and then the all restaurant here I can add a favorite restaurant like this restaurant added to my favorite list so now if I go to hungry puppet it's display all my all the food in hungry Pe puppet also it's display not available food also it say not available now but i can order a food for tomorrow if the schedule order option is enabled for this restaurant or the system so right now i can see some food from top like if i click on chicken shawarma and i can add some add-on from here like add some extra cheese two piece coke extra sauce and i can pick the quantity also the size based on size the price may change yeah i see the size selected normal size now if i click add to cart then the item added to cart and if i click the cart button then it will go to go to the cart page i also click that cart button from top of the page in right side here so i am here now my cart page also i can go there from my home screen navigation bar okay right now i am in my cart page if i click proceed to check out now uh, as this restaurant enable schedule order they say I, I can order it right now or i can change my preference time to tomorrow and this suggested time only the restaurant open time here the restaurant uh, the restaurant is uh, opened all day so it's uh, started from 12 1 a.m to Uh, 12 1 a.m uh, but uh, i want to order now so i click today and now here uh, from top i can choose the home delivery or take away so right now this restaurants offering us free delivery so it says free i also can receive the food from the restaurant so it's a take away feature so right now i am choosing the home delivery and the deliver to other location it's already in selected mode now i can apply any promo code right now i do not have any promo code i can pay this by digitally or cash on delivery and here my delivery fee is free overall my discount $93, my VAT tax $29, and finally 
10.40 dollar now, now if i click the confirm order the order placed if i go back home my order look my running order right now this is my running order so order detail currently it's cash on delivery order and in pending mode if i click the track order then it will take me to a map, google map here currently it's a restaurant location and it's my uh my my uh, delivery location so the order is currently in order placed mode so when a delivery man picked up and on the way it will change my the status and it will in real time so look in the bottom it says delivery man has not been assigned yet so now if i go my earlier order like order history then i can see one of my food is already in my hand and it's a delivered look it's delivered cash on delivery delivered now look at the delivery fee in this order it's 756 but the food price is 112 why this happened because the whole world is now currently in our coverage area the restaurant is in india but we are from bangladesh so there are uh, approximately 500 to 1000 kilometer away from the, the for the distance so for per kilometer it's take charge one one dollar so it's a delivery fee a little bit higher but don't worry if uh, you start your real business it will not um return this type of value obviously okay so right now if i go the more button i can see my saved address from here and language you can change the language english to arabic or english you can save language here you can click on the profile and yeah you can change your theme to dark mode notification you can change change your password you can edit your profile change your photo phone number email whatever you want so right now in dark mode the apps looks pretty cool though both dark and light mode the app design is really very much cute okay in here you can see your favorite food and a favorite restaurant and yeah i already discussed about this feature and you, you can also see your notifications from top of the menu looks it said look it's a, all my load notification i received from last day i installed the application and uh, yeah th and this is it so hope you understand mm, and uh, uh, you, you can realize now because the android apps performance and ios performance is similar uh, as it is developed by flutter so you can easily export the code base to your android and ios version thank you guys